Well, this scene is a lot quieter than it was from earlier this afternoon. It's even a little bit eerie, really, because we still have the float plane in the water. However, we don't have any of the people here anymore. A couple hours ago is when the scene kind of cleared out. We had the police department, fire department, medical examiner. They all left, but the boat is still in the water. You can see the scene is very much stabilized at this point. Earlier this afternoon, we were watching divers and crews on the dock pulling the plane with ropes. They were trying to get it in the position that they wanted. And then just a couple hours ago, the oil spill response team also came to the scene. They put down those large booms in the water. It's acting as a perimeter. This is for any fuel or any other chemicals that get into the water as they shifted it around. Earlier, we could smell the jet fuel, so the booms, they are preventing water pollution to get into the lake. Now, we did speak with Bellevue Fire earlier today. They responded to this call along with Bellevue Police. They told us that around 11 this morning, they were getting multiple calls in for a float plane crash in Lake Sammamish. People who live around the lake, they told emergency crews that they saw the plane came down, come down rather, and here's how they described it. It appeared like it was attempting to take off two to three times. It sounded like the engine was stalling. This And this is what they told me. Um, one resident described it as being when they hit 50 feet in the air, it just took a nosedive and went straight into the water. According to Bellevue Fire, this float plane had a boat-like hull that allowed it to land in the water rather than wing pontoons. We are still learning to, we are still trying rather to learn more about the aircraft and its flight path leading up to the accident. Regardless, neighbors told us that it has been years since anyone has seen an aircraft emergency on the lake with an experimental plane going into the water back in 2009. A devastated, devastated, because we have young kids, and I always worry about something bad happening on the water. And I've never thought that there would be a plane crash. Um, more of a boating accident is more where my fear lies, but the plane crash is just really heartbreaking. These photos that you're looking at were taken by a resident on the lakeside. You can see the float plane, the sheriff's office search and rescue boat, along with a recreational boat. That recreational boat had several nearby residents on it. They were good Samaritans who saw what happened and actually got into the water to try and rescue the two men. When firefighters arrived, those good Samaritans were already performing CPR. Now, Bellevue Fire says moving forward with this investigation, it will be the FAA and the NTSB who will move forward to figure out what happened in the lead up to this crash. We're live at Lake Sammamish. I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News.